Once upon a time, there was a country that, um, let's call it a freedom land, that wanted to raise an election to elect his executive power by the will of the people, trying to conceal two things. One, that people are inherently intelligent to make their own choices. And two, that elections will going to be made by magic representation of their will in a series of decisions that they are not involved, but that their uh, people that they choose will going to choose as they want to choose. Anyway, Freedom Man assumed that his people will make the right choices, as well as who they marry, what they study, and even what kind of behavior they have, because Freedom Land always had been shown how responsible they are with his rights. Uh, they were having no divorces, uh, no withdrawal of school, great employment rate, and no addictions. So, <laughs> okay, no, but it, it is still hopes the best of his people. Well, Freedom Lamb used to have a fight with a country that was a crazy former military guy and that always kind of um, were jealous of him. So knowing that Freedom Lamb believed so much in his own ability to choose his presidents, the ex-military country, let's call it uh, Redland, planned a spy woman that used to do mulling and forced it to marry uh, with an orange with blonde hair so she can control him and make him do things that she want, such as uh, name calling, blackmailing, pussy grabber. So in that way, that orange can be able to run for presidency. Uh, well, Redland helped him a lot and was able to convince all the Freedom Land inhabitants to choose him as his next dictator. Sorry, president with no ending term. So that's how Freedom Land became the new attraction point in the people of Redland. Like Finland was in his day, sorry, sorry, like Cold Woodland was in his day. So the moral of the story is, not every right choice is the one that everyone approves, but no every choice everyone approves is the right choice. The end. Yes.